Welcome to TTC Cars, I'm Brian. I'm Craig. And we are driving something that I'm actually kind of excited about. This is the 2024 Buick Encore. Uh, uh, Encore. Encore. Yeah, Encore. It says E-N. Yeah, it's it's Encore. So E-N is O-N. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. kind of, yeah. Buick Encore GX, what's it called? Avenir. Avenir. Not Avenir. 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 No, Avenir. No, it's Avenir. No, the E is silent. It's Avenir. Wait. I looked it up. Anyways, what? that's what they call it. Avenir is the trim. It's like the Denali for Buick. If Wait you a minute. Will. Is it even a Buick then? How do you say yeah. Buick? Yeah. You see, Buick? 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 No, no. no. Buick? That's still American. It's just Buick. It's oh, okay. fine. In just fact, checking. this has the new Buick logo, which I think is quite handsome. You've got your red, white, and blue. You know what that means? Korea? American. It is, but it's built in Korea. So, anyways, oh. that's what this is. All joking aside, I love the way this thing looks. I think it does the look quality good. is incredible. It has 19 inch wheels. We'll get to it in just a minute, but hang on a second. I need to pull the colors real quick. The Monroney, everyone wants to see what like, this thing costs. This one right here comes up to 34,445. Hmm. Good gravy. That's a lot for a small car, but you know what? It's real nice. So that's what, what you get. All right, let's talk about color. Craig, what color do you think it is? Light blue. Close. Ocean blue metallic, and the interior is whisper beige. I would have guessed that. I know. I knew you were thinking it the whole time. Powertrain wise, we are going to cover that in a second, but let's talk about wheels and tires first. I think the uh, the situation here is we have 19s. It rides okay. Does not ride bad at all. Handles well. Would be faster and ride better with 18s. These are 245, 45, 19s. They are Continental Pro Contacts. We've driven this tire about 1,700 times. It's great, no complaints. Can I tell you just, I love this matte chrome finished. I think oh, it looks absolutely. really it, good. It has some brake dust on it. It shines a little bit more, it's <sighs> just right. It looks, yeah, it looks great. I really like it. It actually matches the roof rails really well, which do have mounting brackets. You could okay. put a camper on here or a rooftop tent. Hello, Instagram. Oh yeah, got you covered on that. And here's your Avenir, not Avenir. Uh, and that's uh, all Avenir? over it. Avenir? Avenir? Wait, is this the model or is that the trim? No, no, that's the trim. Oh, okay. Sorry. So they've cladded that around like GMC does with Denali. They are real proud of it. Okay, okay. You do have a painted and chrome door handle, which I like with your locking button. And On just the front or the back too? The back as well. Whoa, it's not even that far. Look at that. I like that a lot. That's a premium product right there. Coming down the back, the most important part to me on any vehicle. The most important part? Well. That's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, most important part of the fuel cap is that it's capless. I like this a lot. No fuel requirements. I do think it's funny that this door has a keeper. If you had a normal cap, come look at this. If you had a regular screw on cap, it has a holder for the cable, but there's no huh. cap. So Maybe okay. that's an aftermarket upgrade or a downgrade. Maybe there's a diesel somewhere else that uses this thing. All right, coming up back, because you have the Avenir trim, you have these super cool tail lights. I think they look awesome. They're grayed out. They look good. Turn red when you turn them on. The Sport Touring trim gets this, as well as the Avenir. The lower trims don't, they get a standard red light. I think it looks awesome. It's a good look and good finish. Come on down, we've talked about the tail lights. You also have uh, these kind of fake ports where you would have exhaust, but they are not very Volkswagen-esque. You do have a real exhaust tip down here hiding. And let's see what that sounds like. Okay, did you hear anything back here? No. I did inside, it sounded kind of cool. It sounded like a GR Corolla a little bit. Ooh. One more thing, you can option this with a trailer hitch from Buick as an accessory. It will tow 1,000 pounds, which is code for bike rack. That's about it. All right, let's check out the engine. All right, boys and girls, you ready to check out under the hood? Oh, oh where is it? There, oh my gosh, that is heavy. Ooh, don't hurt um, yourself. All the styling is in that hood, I think, and all the weight of Korea is there too. Look, this is a three-cylinder, 1.3 liter, paired to a CVT transmission, super, kind of exciting you do have a turbo back here which is nice a lot of heat cladding right here which is cheap but effective look let's talk about it craig there's actually a lot more going on here than i want to admit you can get this with a 1.2 and a six-speed auto two-wheel drive which is what the chevy Trax has we've had that recently you can also get it with what we have here the 1.3 turbo has a little more power paired to a americode nine-speed cvt and front-wheel drive only you can also get this engine with a nine-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. There's a lot going on in terms of options and configurability. A lot of people take small cars and minimize options. Buick has gone all out. The 1.2 liter is good for 137 horsepower and 162 torque. This is 155, 174. Okay. And it, it moves fine, no complaints really. It will blow the front tires off, which we'll show you on the 360, but first, let's check out interior. All right, Ron, let's check out the interior of the Buick Encore Avenir. 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 Encore? Encore. Encore. Encore GX Avenir. Okay, whatever. Anyways, 
look it's a hatch it's a tidy hatch and it works there's nothing wrong here plenty of space yeah run sure. let's uh you don't get any ports i don't that i've noticed you do get a little look that's for your dog bowl in case you want to okay. fight subaru okay um and then down here ouch down here you can pull this out and oh, oh you get a spare yeah. tire oh, okay I was, okay I an inflator that's real yeah, and that's look, a, is there a speaker in here there is a speaker in the spare tire. Impressive. Okay. okay. Right. Wow. And this guy comes up to a higher yep. tier if you want. Which right. Have, well, what, yeah, what that does, it gives you a flat load for right now. This actually recessed a little bit, keeps cool. things from sliding around. That's pretty cool. Um, and just like any good hatch, here's where hatches just thrive. You take this little thing off, set it aside, nice and gentle. Be careful there. Here's where the magic happens. You fold this down because you need to haul something. And whoa, Nelly, look. Well, my well, you're far. Whatever. But look at all that room. Now you've got all kinds of room. You can do whatever you need. Haul whatever you need. You got this massive space. Hatchbacks are awesome. Let's check out the back seat. All right, moving on to the back seat. I'm sitting behind Brian here. Before I get in, though, let's check out the door pocket. Oh. You got room for your cell phone or Brian's <laughs> wallet. That'll work there. And, you know, power windows back here. That's good. This part is not padded, hard plastic, kind of surprising in a Avenir. Abner, Abner, Abner. 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 You get a uh, bottle holder, which works it's kind of tight, but it'll hold one. And yeah. of course, a door speaker. But let's get into this uh, nice whisper beige over ebony interior. And I'm sitting behind Brian, and it's a little tight. I would probably just make Brian move it up. In fact, I'm going to do that real quick because who drives like Brian? Well, okay, so Brian. now I've got a little bit of space. Brian's 6'4, I'm 5'9. I need to point that out. Um, I have space, so I'm making move up just a little bit. So there is that. I would have to ask him to do that, but most people aren't 6'4. Down here, Brian, I've got a little cubby hole to put i don't know hide things okay and then i've got a oh a power outlet it doesn't wait, tell me what kind of wattage wait, though is that upside down it's well it's korean um okay. it's, it's not the code but yeah that's no, literally from a chevy truck that port is mounted upside down yes okay. uh if you right. if you own an encore let us know if encore has a problem with that wait hold on look at the logos of the usb ports they're sideways too yeah, it's Korea. Everything's backwards. Okay, so USB A, okay. USB C, or USB A, USB C. I don't know. Everything's backwards. Okay. Um, and you know what? You get you get a light up here. No moonroof, which is interesting, but also means Brian, you're probably gonna fit. You get some Let's headroom. See Let's what check happens. That out. Yeah. Right. Coming on in. I'm sitting behind whoever was here last. I don't know who. Kind of cozy in the knees, but. I'm still hitting the roof. There's that. Wow. <clears throat> this is yeah. a tall car. It looks like yeah. I thought you would have had more room. Full more room transparency. There. I have a ton of room in the front. So to, to be fair now, though, look at this though. That's nice. Now we got a nice armrest. That's very nice. And it's comfortable and it's very, padded. It's right that, that's that's good. So you've got reading pockets? I've got yeah, I've got a map reader pocket. I've you've got, got a map reader. Wait, what's what's that? I've got a legroom problem, so let me solve that real quick. Oh, oh yeah, look, look, at look at that. that. Okay. Overland ready. You can just sit in your seat. This is basically on. like a Lexus LX six hundred. What? To the front. Moving on to the front run or uh, captain's quarters, you get a nice padded armrest here, which is nice. And believe it or not, soft touch on the door sill. Ooh. Hey, you know what doesn't have that? Denali's in the GMC can Canyon. So thank you, Avenir. Maybe we yeah. need an Avenir truck. I don't know. Very nice. Water bottle holders down here. Very nice. On my side, you can adjust how far that uh, tailgate opens, which is pretty cool. And let's get on in here and see what we got. Um, first off, Brian, this Whisper Beige over Ebony mm. is very nice. I like this little brown accent. And this is real leather. Look at that. Look at that crinkle. That's real how you know leather. it's not synthetic. And it's padded nice. really well. This is actually a very nice seat. Yeah. And all, all kidding aside, this is, this is great. So. And all they have embroidery right here. This reminds me of like a GM conversion van from the 90s. <laughs> yes. I, mean that, I mean that positive. Yeah, like, uh, really yeah nice. Regency. Yeah. yeah, Regency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, this is really nice. Um, in here, you get a little cubby, which is nice. Um, you put all kinds of goodies down there. Okay. Um, you get cup holders work. You got, Brian's using these. You can also use these. Either one, you're good to go there. Got so you got the multiples. Storage spaces you get a usb a chi charging which you don't get in a lexus lx 600. Huh. that USB works by the way that works flawlessly yes usb a usb c and then old school you know cigarette lighter and that's you know just in case you never know um traction control lane keep which is pointless and then auto start auto stop um let's uh let's get in to see what happens here when you start this bad boy because brian we've got a lot of screen here so much so that they call it 19 inches you say wait no wait well that's that's eight that's 11 when you put them together, Tomorrow, Brian, it's, 19, yeah, 19. Yeah. So, but you know, in all seriousness, it does work. There's actually not any problems with it. Let me get some of the stuff to go away. Um, okay, trunk's open. You can change this display here. You hold this down and then let go for a second, which is a really weird way to toggle that, but it does toggle. That took me about two days to figure that out. Yeah, me way. too. Um, and then you can get vehicle info. So you can get kind of mileage we're getting. Uh-oh, not good. Brian's been uh, driving uh -oh. it. Uh, that turbo been kicking well, in. Well, by the way, it's rated for 31 and we're not getting that. 
Mm, well, I mean, I did get it one time. Okay. And then over here, you get the nice uh, GM infotainment, and look, it works fine. There's really no problems with wireless CarPlay. No issues there. Um, kind of love all that. That stuff works great. Down here, simple HVAC controls. I mean, they're just straightforward, and, uh, not cumbersome at all. Really thought in the Avenir we would have um, at, ventilated seats. I did too, And honestly. we don't have that. We have heated can, seats, but not ventilated. Can I point something out? Yes. Heated seats? I hate to interrupt. Yeah. So these are toggles. They mm -hmm. go up and they go down. Yep. So they, yep. they do like a two-way. These two, just a three, two, one, three, two, one. Yeah, well, watch. This is three, two, one. Yep. But also, if you do it up, it's also three, two, one. So it's that, just okay. the same input. That is, that is an interesting uh, yeah. Yeah, little uh, uh, You thought it would be like there. down yeah. up. And then, and then down here, pretty interesting that we get um, our headlight control here because every other GM, it's in the, buried in the infotainment. I like that. But I do like you Colorado. can easily, it's got to look, it's a VW-esque. The knob changes with where you, what reposition it, like the volume knob in a VW. Um, kind of like that, kind of cool. You know, uh, I wonder if the Canyon Colorado did that, if it would just skip a bunch of complaints. Oh, absolutely. Uh, shifter is in a weird spot, Brian. I'm going to point this out because on the drive, we may forget it. When I put it in drive, I hit my knee a lot when I'm just kind of hanging out and it's just kind of sitting right there. It's very close to my knee. There's not a lot of room. I didn't experience that, but, me, but everyone's you know, there. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's All drive right, it. Let's drive it. All right, Brian, we're in the uh, Buick Avenir Encore GX. You said it right. Good which job. all those things got to mean something. It's GX got the, used to mean fast. It's got a bigger motor. 1.3, baby. Lots of power, but a CVT. 1300 triple. Oh, Whoa, it's been, it's oh, 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 it's alive right now, baby. 30 second gear fake. This might be a good 50, run. Not bad. Here we go. Come, come, go, 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 go. 60. Oh, we cracked a big number. What? what what's we, that? We cracked double digits. Oh. It's a 9.9 9 .9 run. Well, a minute ago, it was 9.8 or 10.8. So that's way better. Yeah. What'd you get without me in the car, though? 8.8 .8 without you in the car with AC off. And every trick in the book that I had. Yeah, we're not at altitude. Right. It's 83 degrees right yeah, now. Yeah, weather is not an issue for We once. make sure not to heat soak it driving over here. Abs we purposely babied it on the way over here because I've noticed with heat soak it doesn't get We did a run heavy. without wheel spin. Right. Uh, right. That's not fast. Although it did better with wheel spin. It launched harder with wheel spin. It, it's not fast, no. but Brian, it doesn't need to be fast. Nope. And I'll say this, look, this is a perfect little urban runabout. I drove it in the city, pick, yep. picking up people in Dallas and driving around Arlington and traffic. It's nimble enough. It's got, the turbo helps it occasionally. Good sight lines. Great sight lines. Very the, comfortable. The right size. This seat is awesome. I didn't get fatigued. I drove a lot that day. I drove, I put a lot of miles on this car. I got headroom. Yeah. Um, sound system's good. I wish that was better, actually. You wish it was better? Yeah, I do. I wish okay. it bumped. I thought it's, it was okay. It's, it's clear, but it doesn't okay. bump. Yeah. Um, and that's basically where I'm at. That's about all I've got in this car. So same here. Look, the ride and drive is actually fine. The steering is not communicative, but it's not totally numb. You know, E-Pass is starting to get pretty good now. Its ratio is just right for a city runabout. It's not twitchy. It doesn't dart on the highway. You pull in the parking spot. You're not doing 12 turns to get yeah, it in there. Yeah. It's great. The materials in here. I think that look. I think about the Chevy Trax that we had recently mm -hmm. compared to this. The tracks felt a little bit bigger in length because of the yes. body work on it. Yeah, they're like, more real, real like More Okay, that's probably yeah. what it is too. But the color palette in here is phenomenal. It is. It is ex way better than $35,000 of aesthetics. Yes. That's my my takeaway from this. It feels like a Chevy Colorado with this infotainment system, but mm -hmm. less glitchy. Yes. And that's kind of all there is to say about it. CVTs are awful. Quit doing that. Yeah, when, and this one's kind of clunky. Oh, yeah. When, you, when you're backing out in reverse and you go to drive, it kind of slams into drive. Yeah. But all that being said, if you're just driving around town, the mid-range punch is better than that 0 to 60 time will, will make you think. On the highway is where it falls down and never does any better than it just did. Brian, how come the Avenir doesn't have lane keep? All right, that's a GM com complaint. Yeah. Because Denali's and Escalade's are the same thing unless you have Super Cruise. Yeah. Ford, Kia, uh, Honda, Honda, Toyota, they all do lane keep. This is lane departure, Yeah. which is just not that helpful. Yeah. 
you know, so, you know, I wish it had that. That's, yeah. that's something that would be nice. It would push it past the finish line a little quicker. That's all. But yeah, to yeah. your point on the color palette, this is the old lady spec color. Yeah. Uh, but Brian, how many do they they sell a lot of these? Uh, this is the number one selling Buick in America. And they sell a lot in China, I'm sure too, oh, because it's sure. the number one name nameplate for GM in China. Well, and that's why it didn't die in Pontiac. It did so. I understand that. Fair enough. The new logo is cool, and I just think that if you're gonna, it, look, it's considerable. It's a nice place to spend time, and I think for 35 grand at this size, there's a lot of competition. This is up there enough to consider, I think. Has Buick uh, won the youth over with this car? Some. Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like us um, so we can get more of these videos out to you. And with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya.